सो है गाइज वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज वीडियो नंबर एट ऑफ द एस्ट्रोनॉमी एंड एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स वीडियो सीरीज सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द न्यू चैप्टर नेम डज दि सन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सोलर एटमोसफियर क्रमोसफियर करोना एंड सोलर वाइंड सो इफ यू हैव एनी सजेशन कमेंट्स और रिक्वायरमेंट यू कैन ऑल्सो मेल आस इन और ई मेल आई डी और यू कैन जस्ट राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन so solar atmosphere the sun atmosphere is divided into two layers namely the chromosphere and the corona so here is a schematic diagram of the uh, different layers of the sun's atmosphere so here is uh, sun's interior and above this it is photosphere which uh, ranges uh, up to 500 km then there is chromosphere then here there is transition zone in uh, in this zone the chromosphere changes into corona and the uh, outermost zone was corona so chromosphere chromosphere lies above the photosphere and extends up to near about 2000 km and this layer of solar atmosphere is normally not visible from the earth because of its faintness however it can be seen during a total solar eclipse the name chromosphere is derived from the fact that a few seconds before and after a total solar eclipse a bright pink flash appears above the photosphere The spectrum obtained at that time is called the flash spectrum. The appearance of pink color is due to the emission of the fast Balmer line which occurs in the red region. The temperature density and pressure in the chromosphere determine the intensities of various emission lines. In the chromosphere the density decreases by a factor of 10 to the power 4 from that of the photosphere while the temperature rises to a huge temperature which is near about 25000 kelvin with a short distance of only 2000 km now you may have asked a question that why does the temperature in the chromosphere increase with height so hot gas in the form of jets called spicules is observed throughout the chromosphere and these spicules extend upward in the chromosphere up to a height of uh, 10000 km and they last as long as 15 minutes this implies that the lower part of our, the this implies that the lower part of the chromosphere is highly turbulent and the spicules transport energy and matter from the photosphere to the chromosphere and this causes the heating of the chromosphere now what causes this spicules it seems to be caused by the sun's strong magnetic field now what is transition region So just above the chromosphere there exists a transition transition region extending up to near about 3000 km in this region the temperature rises sharply to near about 10 raised to the power 6 kelvin the transition region links the chromosphere with corona which is the outermost part of the solar atmosphere now let's discuss about corona corona is the outermost layer of sun atmosphere like chromosphere the corona can be observed only during total solar eclipse when the moon is when the moon completely covers the solar disk we cannot see corona at normal times because the density of matter in both the chromosphere and corona is very low they emit very little light and as a result they are faint in the bright light of photosphere they are usually not visible the spectrum of corona consists of bright lines superimposed on a continuous spectrum when these lines were first discovered they were thought to be due to a new element which they called coronia later it was realized that these lines were due to a highly ionized atom and not due to the so called new element coronia so due to high temperature electrons in the corona region have high energies and these electrons interact with ionized atoms and give rise to emission of x rays the coronal x ray emission is much larger than that of the photosphere as the temperature of the photosphere is only 6000 kelvin which is relatively low temperature So photosphere emits very little energy in the form of x-ray radiation. Now you may ask a question that as photosphere is closer to the sun's interior but why it is far cooler than the corona? So we know from second law of thermodynamics that heat cannot flow from a cooler region to a hotter region on its own. Also the radiation from the photosphere passes through the corona almost freely because a because of corona's low density. Since hardly any absorption of radiation takes place in the corona the existence of such a high temperature which uh, varies in the order of billion degrees in the corona represents a paradoxical situation So several mechanisms have been proposed to resolve the paradox and it is now generally believed that the sun's strong magnetic field might be somehow responsible for this coronal heating
so this is for today's video we hope that you are enjoying our astronomy and astrophysics video series so if you have any suggestion comments requirements you can mail us or also you can write in the comment section thank you for watching this video also please subscribe to our channel so that we can manage this channel